Hi, in this video, I'm gonna tell you how we can format any lab report in Microsoft Word. Fine, in this video, we are going to look at this format. You can see here I have a lab which is unformatted. Fine, now what do we have to do? First of all, select all of your document by pressing Ctrl plus A. Fine, and give it the name. Times New Roman and its size must be 12, which is standard one. Fine. Now you can see it's looking better. The second thing you have to do to make it justified. Fine. And the third thing is to give the line spacing. And the fourth, last but not least, is to give paragraph spacing, which is it must be. Uh, zero pt in my case or you can change it up to your requirement and I just click ok fine now I have all of my data in different format but I have to arrange it in headings and in subheadings fine the very simple way to make headings is to select your document and just bold it and increase its size and you can see it's looking like a hiding right? but it's totally a wrong way to do that fine and what do you have to do just click on the text that you want to make an heading and go to styles here you can see the headings just click on it you can see it's showing me the text of a Calibri but I want to make this heading in Times New Roman just right click on it and click on modify and Click here and write Times New Roman. Size section is fine. Uh, our color must be black. It's automatic. And it must be right aligned. It's good. Add this text to text really automatically update. Only in this document or new document based on this template. And just click OK. Fine. Now I have modified heading number one and I'm just giving another line to heading number one which is our lab name introduction to microcontroller fine now here are the some other headings you can see as i click on these words it's showing me that they are on heading number one but i want to make them on heading number two because they are not our main headings fine i just click on heading number two modify and just change this Time family is time use Roman is bold color must be automatic new document update okay now just change it change it change it to heading number two now what I have to do I have just select all the text which I want to make heading number two you can see here. Uh, just scroll down basic component just click on home and again heading number two okay that's good that's good heading number two that's good just scroll down scroll down scroll down again it's heading number two again I'm scrolling down oh you can see it's not looking good what I have to do when I click on it, you can see it automatically redirect to the heading number one. That is not our heading. Just click on it and make it to the normal. Fine. Again, I have to modify my normal because it's in Calibri and I have to change it to the Times New Roman and its size must be 12 as per our other document and new document based on this template and press OK. And I have to just adjust the line spacing as well. Fine. I just click on it and again make it to heading number two, basic gesture, and make it heading number two. Heading number two. And finally,
uh, by clicking on it I have to modify my heading number 2 again uh, its color has been changed and now it's ok again setting number 2 is fine and finally it must be heading number 2 it must be heading number 2 and last but not least is our references in our document and I make it heading, heading number 2 fine. now I have adjusted all the headings fine now what I have to do I have to just finalize the indentations or the line spacings fine uh, I just click on this text and make it centered but I don't want to make this one centered now it's looking good you can see here is a sign which is show and hide space just click on it and you will see same type of size or style here wherever you see this style just remove the extra spacing in your document to make it more readable and reliable now just click on it click on it oh it's, uh, it's too much spacing and now it's good here is also too much spacing it's good Let go down scroll down scroll down uh, just select this line no it's good to have it on the next page good you can see there's so much line spacing here good 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 extra spacing it's fine it's fine it's fine scroll down it must be to the next page but it's good it's good 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 is in extra space fine now i have done with all of my line spacing now look at the content what we have to add in our lab slide First of all, we have to write the name of the lab. Like in my case, it's lab number one, and its name is Introduction to Microcontroller. First of all, we have to define the objective of the lab. You can see I have written a few lines about it. Now we have to tell about the tools that what type of software tools we are using and what type of hardware tools we are going to use in our lab. Right now, after that, we have to give a little bit theory about our lab that what we are going to perform we can see here is a bit theory and here is a schematic diagram and is an other information about the instrument that I am going to use in my lab after that just go for the code you can see the basic, basic structure first I have defined the basic structure of the code and elaborate each and everything now here is a picture of my practical implementation of a lab and here is the code that I have used fine now just go down go down go down after that the, when I upload my code to this Arduino chip and the output I get on the screen you can see fine and here is the code implementation in our software and finally our sketch our analog and digital write it's all about this lab that i have done in this lab and finally we have to put the references and it must be on the next page and just adding page break to make it on the next page now what do we have to do now I have to add the title page. Just click on these pages. Cover page. You can see here are the multiple applications or 
uh, multiple samples about cover page and just click on this one now what I have to do just I have to add a title which is introduction to intro introduction to micro controller and I can add the subtitle and if I have any abstract I can add, a, add it here but this time I'm, I'm not going to add it now it's looking good last but not least thing I have to add a table of content I'm just adding page break here and click on this page again just go to the reference then here is a table of content and I just click on this table of content and you can see table of content has been automatically added it to my document and now how it's possible that uh, table of content can be automatically edited in our document you know we have adjust all of our headings as per styles heading number one and heading number two when we adjust our heading as per this rule then it automatically add all the content in our table of content page you can see here and if you format your heading in a traditional way means you just select the text and increase the size and make it bold to make it heading it will definitely wrong that i have told you earlier in this way you can format your lab again i'm going to whenever you change your page just click on this table of content and click on update table just update table entire table and okay it will automatically update the page numbers as well again i'm going to revise all of the content first of all we have to define the name of the lab then it's objective tools hardware software and little bit theory about the lab and some extra information if you want to put about the instrument that you are going to use and after that you have to put your code or put your anything else that on which you are uh, creating your lab and in, in my case it's a code you, you have to put your code and after that you have to give it give it uh, its practical implementation if you have done if it uh, software based lab then you have to add this type of screenshot in your document after that you have to add output here you will write an out uh, output heading and you will paste your output here or you can add the output screenshot here fine just scroll down and at the end you must use references that from where you collect data from where you collect your software these are all about these references or you can uh, number these references as well fine and it's all about today's video if you enjoyed this video then please like this video and subscribe to this channel see